Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of the Mission Matters Business Podcast, your source for all things business. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres. Keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today I have Brooke Lively on the line, and she's president and founder over at Cathedral Capital, and she's also author of the upcoming book, From Panic to Profit, How Six Key Numbers Can Make a Six-Figure Difference in Your Law Firm. Brooke, welcome to the show. Thanks so much for having me. I'm excited to be here. All right, so uh, today we're going to do a book episode. I can't wait. We're going to get into your new book, so From Panic to Profit. Um, but before we do that, I want to get a little bit further into what you're doing over at Cathedral Capital. Tell us a little bit more about the company, please. So our goal is to make companies more profitable, and we do that by serving as their outsourced CFO. We work with smaller companies, usually $10 million in revenue and less, because those are the people that got into what they're doing because they love it, but they don't necessarily have the business background. So we come in, we serve as their CFO to help them grow and scale until they can hire somebody in-house. So I know this is going to change, obviously, from uh, company to company experience, right? But in your niche, I feel like there's some common themes that happen over and over again. What do you find are some of the common themes of mistakes of um, that, that maybe companies or opportunity areas, we'll say, that companies are making at this moment that, um, that you kind of go in there and help clean up? Well, there, there are two, really. One is, like I said, the owners don't really know anything about financials. It's not their mm-hmm. fault. Um, mm-hmm. But, for instance, lawyers go to law school. They teach them how to practice law. They never teach them how to own their own business. So when you put a P&L in front of them, their eyes glaze over. And mm-hmm. all they want to do is look at that bottom number. They don't understand how to use it. And the second thing that we do, which goes hand in hand with that, is we really – teach people how to make data-driven decisions. Because as you know, if you make a decision based on a piece of data, you don't second guess it, it's a faster decision, and it's a better decision. Oh, I love it, it's great stuff. Um, and I think it's a great transition. So let's, uh, let's get into the book, From Panic to Profit, How Six Key Numbers Can Make a Six-Figure Difference in Your Law Firm. So um, first off, what was the inspiration for this? All the lawyers I have seen struggle over the years with the numbers in their firms. So um, I'm the daughter of an attorney. I'm the sister of an attorney. I've got three uncles that are attorneys. I can't tell you how many cousins. And virtually every guy I've ever dated has been an attorney. So <laughs> I, have, I know. It, I you know attorneys. I got it. I got it. You know attorneys. Go ahead. <laughs> Well, even worse, I had a federal judge in D.C. tell me I need a better class of friends because I hang out with so many attorneys. But, I can't. Um, I have watched them struggle for years because, like I mm-hmm. said, law school doesn't teach them how to run a business. They teach them how to practice. And I was just so frustrated because they're these great entrepreneurs that want to grow and scale their law firms but they just don't have the foundational education, mm-hmm. the the numbers education to be able to do it. So, and so what are the um, like? So, there's obviously a lot of attorneys right now listening to this right now. So, have a, have a big audience, LinkedIn crowd. And um, that being said, some of them are listening, and they're like, their egos might be a little bruised, but they're like, all right, but I don't really know the numbers. I get it. Uh, she's right. You know, we'll just say you're right. Um, that being said. What are some of those key takeaways that they're going to get from picking up a copy of this book and diving in? So we've divided the numbers. Well, let me back up. Really, the premise of the book is if you are on a fabulous, like, five-star resort on a desert island that only gets a boat, a mail boat, supply boat, once a week, and they can bring you a piece of paper that has six numbers on it, that will help you make the decision if you get to stay another week in paradise or if you have to get on that supply boat and go back to the real world. What are those six key numbers? Mm. And they fall into six categories. So the categories are cash, which is your cash balance, your AR, your monthly nut. And the key one is your cash flow forecasting. So we tell people and we work with our clients to look six to eight 
sometimes even 12 weeks out to see Mm -hmm. how you're doing on your cash balance. The second one is ideal ratio. So we talk a lot about the rule of thirds. Um, One third goes to payroll, one third to marketing, one to overhead. But really what's important here is owner compensation. Is your profit high enough to fund everything that you want to do in your personal life? Mm. The third category is production. We talk about capacity and utilization and billing goals. And really what an attorney who is sitting on a beach dripping, drinking his or her pina colada needs to know is how much whip do we have? How much work in progress is there for us to bill out next month? Mm. Then we have the budget versus actual, which we actually don't believe in budgets. We believe in profit plans. But that's a report that helps you get back on track and go where you want to go. I love it. Next to last. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, okay. So the next to last category is marketing and sales. And we look at conversion cycle and conversion rates by referral source. But really what you want to know is your sales calls booked. Because your sales calls book tells you how many clients you're going to have, which tells you how much revenue you're going to have. And then the last one is similar. It's in the category of case management. We look at all kinds of things about cases, average price, average length. But the important thing is how many net new cases did you have? How many closed? How many opened? How many of your net new cases? Man, I love this. And I love your approach. And for some of the people listening who aren't attorneys um, that are listening and they're kind of thinking in their head, it's like, I love that you wrote this book for attorneys, just to be clear. But the numbers that you just said are like, uh, those could be on any business. I mean, it, would, it might not, not be net new cases. It might be net, if it's a SaaS company, a tech company or something like that, it might be, you know, how many new clients you bring on, how many, new, um, how many new contracts, how many new like, but I just love it because the fundamental principles, though, um, are there for any business, in my opinion, what you just described. But I do like that you actually really niched it down and you spoke the language of attorneys in this, because if you didn't, I feel like there's not that many books that are written that speak their language. And because of this, I think they don't always get the information or digest it in the same way. Because, you know, when you read something and it's not talking your language, you think maybe it doesn't apply to you, right? It, I think you're absolutely right. And we did start with this one. But just so you know, this is the first book in a series because I absolutely agree with you. These numbers are universal. They're small tweaks. Like we may not be talking about net new cases. But there is a net new something in every business. And so the next book is actually going to be a little broader for entrepreneurs. That's awesome. So, uh, so Brooke, if somebody's listening to this and they want more information either on, um, either on Cathedral Capital or on the book for when it's released, um, what's the best way for them to follow up and to learn more? Um, there are a couple of great ways to get us. Facebook and Instagram or Cathedral Capital or Cathedral Capital Inc. on Facebook, Cathedral Capital on Instagram. And you can always go to our website. It's cathcap.com, C-A-T-H-C-A-P.com. And you can find out more about us there, our phone number, and you can always email us from there. Awesome. Well, Brooke, it's been great having you on the show today. Appreciate you uh, you sharing more about your new book that's coming out and uh, from, from Panic to Profit, How Six Key Numbers Can Make a Six-Figure Difference in Your Law Firm, um, and also for teaching us a little bit more about what you're doing over at Cathedral Capital. So great stuff there. And to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast. Uh, leave me a review on the Apple iTunes Store. If you're watching this on our YouTube channel, Mission Matters, uh, Um, business, be sure to give that a subscribe, but also leave us some comments in the video. I mean, love to know what kind of things and projects you're working on. And Brooke, thanks again for coming on the show.